minutes since I've done like a weekly vlog in its true fashion. I've done like, like my last vlog for instance was very much giving weekly vlogs. My last couple of vlogs actually, but they all started like midweek. Um, I didn't vlog every day. They were very much just like all over the place. But I think I want this to be a weekly vlog. Um, I think Sundays, that's just going to be a lot. Sundays is always going to be like a weekly vlog and then Thursday will be just something. I haven't figured it out yet, but it'll be something in between. But anyway, I'm trying not to make this intro so chatty. I realize that all my intros to my videos are super chatty, but y'all, I just, I always have a lot to say. But we just came from downtown Austin. We went to the library downtown very very beautiful library i'll have like the location linked in my description box because i can't remember the exact name of the library but i feel like if you're an austin austin native or even if you're not an austin native and you just live here you've probably heard of this library it's very big there's like six stories um there's a garden on the sixth floor there's an art gallery within the library it was really really nice now the artwork honey i don't know Who's buying that artwork? Well, I do know who's buying it. Nobody's buying it. But that's, you know what? We're not even going to do that. No see, no shame. We're not going to do that. We are not going to do that. That's very ugly. But I ain't going to lie. I'm like, maybe I need to get me a canvas and some paint and start trying to sell some art. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, we made it home. Um, we didn't do anything else. We were going to go to like a park. Uh, I think it's Lady Bird Lake Park. But honestly and truly, like, we were tired and we don't get out much. We're trying to change that, but we don't get out much. So I feel like it was enough for us. Like, that little <laughs> event was enough. We had to park um, in a parking garage. So we had to walk a little bit of the distance. Not very far, but, you know, we got a little workout and, you know, we got our steps in. And then again, like, the library was huge. So we went to every floor. If I'm not mistaken, we went to every floor. I don't think we went to the third floor, but we went to just about every floor and um, we all got books. So let's just get straight into it. Not really straight into it because I've talked for a good four to five minutes and now I'm talking about let's get straight into it, honey. Straight into it would have been three minutes ago. <laughs> but anyway, let me show y'all the books that we got. So I picked up this book called Lies. Um, y'all, it's not really good. I've just, I've always been a reader and a very avid reader, but recently, like, I've kind of just stopped a little bit. I had got the Kindle app. I was re like, if you don't know, like, you can go and, like, sign up with as many emails as you can make to get a free 30-day, um, trial for Kindle, and I do that very often. Um, it had been years since I last did it, so recently I had did it. Um, and I was, you know, on a little streak. I think I had read, read like two books or two and a half books, but then I just stopped. So, um, super glad to have gone to the library today, picked up a physical book. Um, it is pretty neat that you can download like certain apps for, that are, that are associated with this library and you can, um, check out, uh, books online. But I love, like, the physical books. It's just something about having a book in my hand. So this book is by Arthur T.M. Logan. It's called Lies. And basically, long story short, it's about this man who catches his wife in the midst of adultery, cheating. Um, he's on his way home from work one day, and he sees her car. He assumes that, like, because basically she turns into, like, a parking lot of a hotel or an inn. Not a hotel, like an inn. And so, um, he just assumes, like, oh, she's working with a client. I haven't gotten but to page, like, I'm only on, like, the third or fourth page in the book. But I'm thinking what's going to happen is, um, he's going to, like, follow her to the hotel. And he's going to find out that she cheated. So, that's what I'm reading. And then I also picked up another book. It's a cookbook. It's called Black and Vegan by Amani Corcoran? Cochran? I don't think that's Cochran. That's Corcoran. Corcoran. Possibly. Creator of Black and Vegan. If you're vegan, you probably are familiar with her. Um, 
I feel like I've heard black and vegan. I don't know her face, but I feel like I've heard of black and vegan. So I'm super excited about this. Like I, the way I decided like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this book is because I opened up the first page and it was like some loaded blueberry overnight oats. And if you don't know, like I love overnight oats. I actually had some this past Sabbath. So I was like off the rip intrigued. She has a peach cobbler smoothie in here. Um, best ever hummus, spicy ginger, turmeric dressings. I don't really mess with tofu like that. But she got a tofu salad, sweet potato, sweet and spicy wedges. Yes, sweet potato wedges. Southern style greens, cabbage and bacon. Wait, is this vegan or not? The cabbage and bacon. Oh, she's going to make the bacon out of tofu. Yeah. So, yeah. Smoky pinto beans. A lot of side dishes that I'm actually really here for. So these are the two books that I got. Alina got three books. She got this book called I Am. You gotta make sure that we read it. Cause honey, these books go back in two weeks. So this one was like super bold and like, I feel like very inclusive. So I feel like there'll be some, you know, pictures of, that she can relate to hopefully. I mean, there's a little black girl in the front of the book, so. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get back into like really homeschooling her. Y'all know it's like a, it's like an up and down thing because she's still so very young. Well, she's almost two, but um, I started homeschooling her when she was like, and when I say homeschool, I mean like just get like preparing a lesson plan and like being intentional about her lesson plan. <laughs> but um, I started that when she probably was like a year and some change and then I stopped. So I'm really trying to get back on it, like even having her Sabbath lessons. We did a dual Sabbath lesson in our last vlog this past Sabbath, um, and she enjoyed it. It's always super short and simple, but I just feel like it's very effective. Plus, the shows that she watch are very, very, very good, um, and they teach her very well. There are so many things that that child knows and does, and it's like I know she didn't learn that from me. I wish I could take the credit, but the aunties... Miss Monica, Miss Moni, even Miss Rachel, even though I have my, you know, reservations about Miss Rachel. She doesn't watch her often. But the truth of the matter is Miss Rachel does teach these kids. Like, because um, we can go political, you know. I can very much go political and say why um, I don't want Alina to watch her or the reasons that I've kind of scaled back on Miss Rachel. But at the end of the day, like, Honestly and truly, Miss Rachel and Miss Monica and Miss Moni. Miss Rachel, Miss Monica, and Miss Moni are really the reason Alina knows how to talk. She knows um, her eyes from her ears to her head to her nose. She knows her cut, like some of her colors. She knows her ABCs. But yeah. So anyway, we got Hot Little Bunny. This was the first book that she picked up. And it's funny because I think Miss Rachel has a song called Hot Little Bunnies. It's like Hot Little Bunnies, Hot Hot Hot, or something like that. Y'all got, y'all got me. Y'all got me. I just, yeah, I did that. Just, just pretend that that didn't just happen. But if you're a parent, like, come on, we all can relate. We all be singing the little kids songs. We do. And they sometimes, they be hitting, they be hitting. But, um, Hot Little Bunnies, we got that book. Super cute. I'm actually really excited about this one. We'll probably read this one tomorrow. It has, like, some flip outs. Super cute. And then the last book that she got was A Song of Gladness. This was something that she picked up as well. The, um, this I Am book, I picked that one up. She picked up the Hot Little Bunnies and she picked up A Song for Gladness. This book is definitely, um, too advanced for her, but we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see how far we can get. Because Alina's attention span, honey, two seconds in and she like all right next so those are the books that we got and then my lord got some books too but if he want to show y'all them or maybe on the family channel because he's vlogging right now for the family channel maybe he'll show y'all on there um but yeah i'm actually about to make him dinner i'm not gonna make it with y'all because i'm actually um about to record some content for instagram I am trying to get on a schedule so that I can give y'all content as well as Instagram content. 
But um, yeah, I'm about to make some hamburger steaks. Plus, I think y'all seen me make hamburger steaks before, so y'all ain't missing nothing. The only difference this time is I am making them with these baby gold potatoes. Usually I do rusted potatoes. Um, but yeah, so. But I will let y'all see the plate when I'm done. I will okay, y'all, so just got done with dinner. I'll show y'all like the reel that I put together um, for Instagram so y'all can at least see the meal we had. Y'all, I'm so tired. I literally, sis, help me, help me, help me, help me. I need some motivation. I need some motivation because I'm so tired. I am extremely tired. Um, I'm about to do my skincare, so that's good. Maybe that'll get me motivated to clean the kitchen because basically that's what I need help with. Is I'm tired, but I don't, I can't just go to sleep right now. I can't because I need to shut down the house and I'm really trying to get back into a routine. I'm really trying to remember, remember y'all, I'm trying to show up. As the person I envision myself to be. I want to shout out y'all. I want to give y'all a What? I'm so delirious right now. I don't feel like anything I'm saying is even making sense. I want to give you all a shout out because my last vlog, um, I just uploaded it today, but you guys have been interacting with me and I really, really appreciate that. Like, honestly and truly, I understand you know, because there used to be, like, a time where, like, I would kind of get a little discouraged just because I felt like YouTube is, YouTube is a tough crowd. Like, you see the views, like, you see how many people are watching your, your, your videos, but as far as the interaction goes, it can be very low compared to, like, Instagram, but um like i said i get it at one point i didn't really get it it could be it was really discouraging but as a youtube consumer i understand like i literally hardly ever comment on anybody's youtube video so i get it i really do but this last video you know you all have been commenting on it just saying like y'all appreciate my transparency and let me tell y'all how much i appreciate you all telling me that because I have been struggling, and I'm sure y'all know this, like, you can tell. Um, but I've been struggling the past couple of years as far as, like, really, like, I know what my niche is, but it's just, like, I go back and forth as far as, like, my vibe and my aesthetic. Sometimes um, I want to be more of a relaxed channel, like, where it's very montage -y. Um, you know, it's very peaceful as far as the atmosphere and the vibe. And then there's times like this where I'm like super chatty and it's like, let's talk, let's be real. Let's, you know, get into the realness of motherhood, wifehood, biblical womanhood, homemaking, all of that. So lately I've just been doing me and me is honest, like doing me is just like a dibbling and dabbling a little bit in both areas, like. Sometimes I feel like just being quiet and peaceful and just being a little vibe. And then sometimes I feel like just coming and keeping it real with y'all. So, you know, you all was just letting me know that y'all liked the last vlog and how transparent I was, which that is something I pride myself in. I am pretty much an open book. So much to the point where like I've been told I need to scale back a little bit because everything doesn't need to be shared with everyone. But um, this is a safe place. And in saying so, babe. Um, but yeah, basically y'all, I'm sorry, um, the baby has stepped in, but I just want to say like, this is a safe place and I do feel like I can come to y'all, be transparent, but even still, like, there's still some things that like, you know, a girl should keep to herself and that's just is what it is. Um, I am getting ready to just take off my makeup and wash my face and stuff. I'm going in with some. My cellar water by um, Garnier, Gar Garnier, <laughs> Skin Active, uh, 
and this is the micellar cleansing water the all-in-one it cleans removes makeup and soothes this is a bb cream y'all i literally well it's a cc cream and maybe i don't know the difference but um when i put this on i didn't expect it to be as full coverage but it has like spf in it and y'all know we were out in the sun today so i decided to put it on i really like it a lot it may be a part of my everyday makeup routine moving forward but i wasn't expecting it to be this heavy um i wasn't expecting it to be this heavy at all honestly but yeah y'all i just hope that once i'm done doing like my little skincare routine that i have a little bit of energy left in me so that i can um so that I can go and I'm just changing my earrings that way I can clean my face better because I feel like these are kind of getting in the way. But I want to clean the kitchen. I want to, um, I don't know if Alina's room is a mess right now or not, to be honest. I can't remember. I feel like I went in there and played today, but <laughs> my days are kind of running together. Okay, so after I do like the little, and is this like a skincare routine, tutorial, whatever? I don't know, are we calling it that? I don't feel like I want to be formal, that formal and call it that. But I am telling you what I'm using. I'm trying to get more into like showcasing like my favorite products as well. Because um, if a girl wants to get PR and get uh, sponsorships and stuff, I'm gonna have to start, you know, showing the products I use in love. Uh, so good. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully y'all can still see me. So now I'm fin to fin to go in with um this Origins cheek checks or is it cheek checks <laughs> checks and balances. It's a um, milky oil cleanser. I don't use this often. I don't use this often because I feel like it don't really do that great. But it says shake well to activate gently smooth onto dry face and lips and eyes. And then you're going to add warm water and massage until milky. So maybe I just been doing it wrong. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Because I didn't do it wrong. I don't know. But we're going to massage it into our face. And now we're going to put some warm water. If that's what it, I really think I've just been doing this wrong. Okay. This is messy. This is real messy. Um, I guess this is milky. I'm guessing. Is this milky, y'all? This is gonna have to do like don't get me wrong don't get me wrong like the process of putting on makeup can be a bit much sometimes like sometimes i just wish like one and done like put the makeup on with the snap of a finger but honestly and truly like what irritates me the most is having to do all this like god it's crazy. It's really, really crazy when you think about about it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in again with the micellar water. I'm still gonna wash my face, obviously. So you know, we'll be good. I just I don't know. I feel like even when I wash my face like really good, I do like a really good skincare routine. I feel like there's still makeup. Y'all know I love this product right here. Oh, I love it so much. I'm thinking, oh, it didn't hurt. No, I gotta throw this away. I have to throw it away. It's so unfortunate. Um, I will say that I'm glad that it was PR. <laughs> opposed to like, which I know like, I would like to think, you know, had it been like something I paid for, I could have just let the brand know 
and they would have compensated for it. But man, like I really like that product. Like that face wash makes my face feel so clean. And I like the idea of having like a face wash for night and a face wash for the morning. Um like I feel like that's a good face wash to wash the day away. Like after you had a long day, you then sweated it out, you know, wore a face full of makeup. That face wash is going to get your skin clean. Now don't get me wrong, y'all see. Y'all see the lather on this La Roche Jose. But yeah, I really like that other one. And it just makes my face feel so good. But this one's cool too. And I like this because you can use it as a body wash and um you can use this La Roche, La Roche Posay as a body wash and a face wash. So did I show you the La Roche Posay? I don't think I did. Um this is La Roche Posay. That's the um this is the gentle foaming moisturizing wash. Now I'm going to go in with my Bioma Hydrating Milky Toner. I be forgetting to put this on. I'm not even saying a lot of y'all. I remember to put it on today because I'm I'm here with you all. But I be forgetting to put it. I hate. This is what I hate. And I think it's because I'm using a towel to wash off my face wash opposed to rinsing it off so I'm like maybe I'm not getting all the face wash off my face but why do I still have like why am I getting like this cast I don't know I don't know but it'd be irritating me and this happens like every time I wash my face but I think it's because I need to get like those little wristbands so that I can actually rinse my face opposed to using a towel um, now I'm about to go in with my Euphoric Elegance uh, Turmeric Hyaluronic Acid. Yeah, this is Hyaluronic Acid and Turmeric. I like this. And it's funny because I was literally needing a new Hyaluronic Acid when they sent me that. <laughs> because I current, well, before this, I was using the... Um, my ingredients hyaluronic acid and yeah it's almost out and this is nothing to rave about um I'd probably give this like a five I'm gonna give this like a 7.5 maybe an eight I like it I like it a lot and then now I'm gonna go in with my hydro nourishing serum this is uh this is rose water I'm almost positive Rose hip oil. This is rose hip oil Korean skincare. I got this from where did I get this from? TJ Maxx. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put on this verse. Um, and I'm so sad because the the lettering is like disappearing. But this is the verse sweet relief overnight barrier balm. I really like this. Like, you just need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Um, honestly, all these products. And it's funny because, like, I was very much a cheap girly. Um, when it came to, like, my skincare. I would just do e.l.f. products. Whatever was, you know, the most inexpensive. Um, not that e.l.f. is extremely cheap. Because e.l.f. can be, you know, a little, like, mid-range. Um depending on what you purchase but um this year i decided that i was going to invest in my skincare and while these products are not the cheapest they one last and two they are so good like look at my skin look at the glow okay so now i'm gonna just brush my teeth and then i'm going to clean the kitchen i don't think i'm gonna clean the kitchen with y'all tonight um because it's just it's just Sunday, and I feel like this vlog is already finna be long, but mainly because I'm a chitty chatter chatterbox.
I don't actually know why I'm so energetic this morning. Um, but anywho, we are headed to the grocery store. Yesterday, I did not check back in with y'all after cleaning the kitchen. But it was a pretty, pretty good day. Very productive, I feel like, for the most part. Um, I got everything done on my little... Well, majority of the things done on my to-do list. Yeah, I got majority of things done on my to-do list. So, that is great. Um, there are some things from yesterday that I have to do today. I need to schedule Alina a dentist appointment. But as far as, like, cleaning goes, I got everything done on my little list. I was able to meditate on the word, all praises to the most high. Um, what did I read yesterday? Y'all know I'm in Psalms, so I continue on in Psalms, Psalms 10. I think the last time I told y'all that I was reading Psalms, I told y'all the wrong chapter. The last time I was actually reading Psalms 9, yesterday I read Psalms 10. But Psalms 9 and 10 really say the same thing. A lot of the same thing. And that's the thing about the Bible, y'all. The most high literally repeats himself over and over because he knows he knows we are such a rebellious and stiff necked people like and he know that our skulls be thick we don't listen we don't listen we don't listen but all praises um i read psalms 10 yesterday and then i meditated on you know just finding peace in the mundane part two um that's something that i meditate on often y'all know i wrote a whole ebook about um grace in every corner and just you know finding peace and being a homemaker and um whatnot so that is something that I often meditate on because no matter how much I know that it's a gift to be a wife and a mom the reality is like life be life in. and sometimes it just can be a lot I am not going to do my full grocery shopping trip today um mainly mainly because um i have to get back home before the hubby has to go into the office but also because it's feast of tabernacles this week and we'll be going to my brother's house and like you know doing the feast of tabernacles there and i'm thinking i probably should grocery shop after feast of tabernacles um, I can get like a few things that we'll, you know, need during the Feast of Tabernacles. But as far as like doing grocery shopping, grocery shopping, I probably could do that after Feast of Tabernacles. So today I'm just going to get like things that Alina needs and then things for tonight's meal. Okay, y'all, we are back home from the store. <sighs> I didn't vlog in the store. I didn't even do a grocery haul for y'all because I'm literally just... <clears throat> I got out of the sphere. <laughs> when I left the grocery store, I definitely was not in good spirits. First of all, why I spent 157 in the grocery store and I didn't really get nothing? But I did get Alina um, a potty training little seat to put on the toilet, a step stool to wash her hands, and then I got her a new little learning toy that y'all just saw her playing with. Right now, she's doing puzzles. You gotta turn it, mommy. There you go. Good job. Wow. wow. But yeah, so we are home, just chilling. I'm sleepy, I'm hungry, I'm tired. I have not done my devotional today. Um, so I think I'm gonna just open a Bible app because usually I like to get my devotional done first thing in the morning because if I don't, it's very hard and pressing. But so I think I'm gonna just yeah open my Bible app and then hopefully later when she's like down for nap if time permits I can just get in the word. But I have a lot of things I need to do. I need to fringe. I need to clean the living room today. Is living room day. <clears throat> yeah, I have a few things I need to do. Lino is really fussy. 
when I came back from the grocery store and I realized it's because she's been up since like 7 a.m. It's now 11.30. She usually wakes up at like 8 on a good day. Sometimes she'll wake up early, like today. But she usually wakes up at like 8 and then goes down for a nap around noon. So I did put her down for a nap a little bit earlier than usual. It's 11.30. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to make tonight's dinner. We're having tacos, but we're using a chuck roast. I found this recipe on Instagram. More than likely, next Monday's um, video for Instagram. Y'all know Feeding Monday and Mondays. If you're on Instagram, please, 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 please follow your girl support the movement but um this video or i'll probably record a video um for next monday today or not next monday monday because monday's already passed so for monday i'll probably go ahead and use this recipe for feeding my man because he did request this little recipe so i'm gonna go ahead and make my taco seasoning um, I forget how much of, I feel like I use more cumin, like a tablespoon of cumin, and then a teaspoon of chili powder, I think, but I'm going to use a good, like, heaping teaspoon of chili powder. I have a taco seasoning recipe, but I don't feel like pulling it up. I should know it by heart by now. But I want to say it's like heavy on the cumin. And then everything else is like a teaspoon. The paprika, the chili powder, the oregano. But I'm probably going to just do a tablespoon of garlic and onion powder. Because like, why not? Y'all know how color folks is. Not color folks. <laughs> Y'all know how black people is. We we gonna we gonna season some stuff with some garlic and onion powder, baby. That's like the blueprint. So I want a little heavy on that. And then I always add Mrs. Dash's taco seasoning to it as well. Cause believe it or not, Mrs. Dash is very flavorful. It's just no salt. But this recipe is super easy from what I saw. Um, you literally just season your hot roast very liberally or your chuck roast very liberally. <laughs> and then um, once you get it seasoned up, you just throw it in the oven for hot. So if you have two pounds, in my case, I had two pounds of chuck roast and then I'm gonna cook it for two hours. Basically, however many pounds you have, that's how many hours you're gonna cook it. So that's why I'm going ahead and getting it started now. Um, it'll be ready before the hubby gets home, to be honest. But, um, I just wanted to get it ready because I'm really tired. Alina's napping and I already know like when she wakes up from, from her nap, She's not going to be, it's not so much that she's not going to be in the best mood, but I'm not going to be wanting to deal with her while cooking. Like, Alina loves to be wherever I'm at. If I'm in the kitchen, she's going to be in the kitchen. And sometimes that can be just a little much. But I'm seasoning this chuck roast, like she said, very liberally. <laughs> Cause I want it to be flavorful, so I'm gonna get all the sides that in between the little crevices of the meat. Also, y'all, I did order takeout. I ordered kava though, so not too bad. I ordered a falafel wrap and some pita chips and eggplant dip. Hey y'all, so my little kava order. I'm gonna sit and have lunch. If y'all never had kava, <sighs> let me tell you, when I want to order out, but I don't want to feel like a big bag, even though I am a big bag, I always order kava. Kava is a little on the pricey side, just a little. 
um I just feel not as guilty I don't know they have some really good bowls it's like a Mediterranean Chipotle maybe is it Mediterranean I think it's Mediterranean hmm but it's like Chipotle except it's kava honey get you some but yeah I'm gonna eat and watch um Gilmore Girls that's in my show lately don't judge me this is a safe place okay remember I said this is a safe place I should be able to tell y'all these things without y'all judging me and I feel like you're judging me sis but no Gilmore Girls really has been my show lately and it's just been like one of those shows that I just watch when I don't know what to watch um I want to watch something like Hardy. I don't want to put too much thought into it um so yeah that's what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna make your good lunch all right y'all Lena is up I'm about to make her lunch closet thank you um we're just gonna do her a little sunflower butter and jelly sandwich So this is, you already know this is the sunflower butter I use. I showed y'all a couple of vlogs back. Um, the jammies that I got from this brand, Sun Butter. And yeah, I've had them before, before I even had Alina. Cause as y'all know, I'm allergic to nuts. So I had them like years ago. That's how I discovered them because I was on the hunt to try to find like a peanut butter alternative. Especially like when doing keto. But yeah, I'm just taking some brioche bread and we're gonna spread a little bit of the sunflower butter. I'm giving her like the little crust because she got her like she's starving. And then for her size, I'm going to give her these Harvest Snaps. And I'm going to give her some fruit, probably an orange. I'm eating her whole little lunch. Like, I didn't just eat a couple hours ago. You ready to eat? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's coming, Mama. Get your letters. Put them on the fridge. Put your letters on the fridge. Say orange. chuck roast cook a little bit longer because it was not done it just didn't have it wasn't tender enough for me it wasn't like breaking apart like super easily so i'm gonna let it cook maybe another hour which i don't have nothing but time it's still really early in the day so let me see what these hitting for the last um, batch of oranges that I bought they were not or mandarins they were not good so I'm happy to, to say oh, these are tasty this is me eating her whole lunch like I done ate a chip I done ate a piece of the sandwich how I forgot to tell you all but Alina pooped in the toilet my baby girl pooped in the toilet. Are you, sis, come, come close. Come here. Are you hearing me? My one-year-old, almost two-year-old daughter. I'm talking about you, Poodle Butt. Pooped in the toilet. Like, I literally was in tears. Because what? 
she's growing up and it's just it's crazy to me i knew she was ready to start potty training though because i want to say shortly after we moved into this apartment into this new place so i want to say like when she turned like a year and a half maybe a little bit before that she started taking off her diaper yeah she started taking off her diaper and i'm like why are you doing that like i literally would get frustrated sometimes but my mom had to tell me like she's probably ready to start potty training and today when i went to the grocery store um the lady in the line was like are you guys you know you get ready to potty train and i was like yes ma'am and she was like that's awesome you know she's gonna do great you know she was just Speaking life, she was being very, very polite. Um, and then she went on to tell me about how her daughter was ready and how she, you know, potty trained her really easy. It only took like a day, um, which I think that's kind of crazy. But then again, I'm like, I don't know how old her daughter was when she started, but I just, I can't wrap my mind around Alina being potty trained in a day. I just can't. Because Alina doesn't even really know how to talk. So how is she going to tell me that she got to go to the potty? Like, she knows how to say words, but she doesn't know how to express herself. Like, she doesn't know how to say, like, I want this or I want that or I need this. So I, I can't wrap my mind around that. So maybe her daughter was a little bit older, but she said it only took a day. And, you know, basically we were just chatting it up. And she was like, you know, I was telling her that Alina um, has been taking off her diaper. And the lady was like, oh, yeah, she's ready. But y'all, this lady was kind of weird. So I don't know whether to take what she was saying with a grain of salt or not. Because I asked the next, so like I've been having this thing where like when I go out in public, I try to be very friendly because you just don't see that nowadays. And I'm big on that. Like if you've been following me for a while, you know how I feel about like customer service and just courtesy and like just common courtesy. Like people just, you know, being polite to other people. So every time I go out, I try to be the example, right? So after we finished talking about potty train, you know, I decided to keep the conversation flowing. I was like, so did your daughter use a pacifier? Because that's my next thing with Alina. Like I want her to be off her pacifier by the time she's two, that's two months. I think it's nothing to it, but to do it, but it's a struggle. Like during the day she's fine, but when she goes down for naps and at nighttime, it's, it's kind of hard. But basically, the lady was like, oh, yeah, so we just, we gave it away. We gave her pacifier away. And she didn't say pacifier. She said, we just gave it away. So I was like, huh? In my head. And she was like, yeah, so, you know, somebody else needed it. We gave it to them. And she was like, yeah, I know y'all probably thinking the same thing I was thinking. So she was like, yeah. And, you know, my daughter, she just felt like, oh, she was doing such a good thing. That right there kind of let me know that her daughter probably was a little bit older than Alina when she started potty training her and weaning her off the pacifier because Alina don't even have the mental capacity to be like oh yeah I gave somebody something yay but yeah so the lady was like they gave they gave it away now granted like I said the lady never used the word pacifier but I said pacifier so in my head I'm like there's no way she could have heard what I said. Because how do you give a pacifier away? Like, I get that you could sterilize it, but I'm just like, that's just not something that I would want to take from somebody. I wouldn't even want to give. Like, if somebody was like, oh, my child needs a pacifier, um, do you have a hand-me-down? And I'm all for hand-me-downs. But a pacifier? I'd be like, sis, let me just, I'm, let me, let me, let me scrounge up some change. If I ain't, like, we're going to get you a pacifier, like a new pacifier, because what? Good morning, y'all. It is 8. My days are running together, but it's Thursday. And I have not checked in with y'all since, I believe, Tuesday. Yeah. So I didn't check in with y'all yesterday. Did I even check in with y'all Tuesday? I don't even think I checked in with y'all Tuesday. <sighs> let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what happens. When we have like a Halloween day or a Sabbath, it kind of throws me off in my games. Like, y'all are gonna, I'm gonna show y'all like a little panoramic of the house. Like, I have to do a lot of cleaning today. Like, a lot of cleaning because 
tomorrow we're going to my brothers for the weekend for time. Um, and today I want to make sure everything is clean. That way tomorrow I can do um, all my cooking. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm still debating if I'm gonna take y'all on today. For sure, I'll take y'all on like when we go to my brother's house for tabernacle, and that'll all be in this vlog. <laughs> but as far as me taking y'all on today, I don't know. I think I'm just coming to check in. It just depends on how I'm feeling because I did not wake up in the best mood today. If we're being completely honest. Um, the past couple of days, I have not been in my Bible bag that I'm supposed to. Like, my life is just like chaotic right now. I'm really trying to get back in the swing. And sometimes that means tapping out of, like, social media and picking up the phone and camera and stuff. Sometimes you just gotta hone in on what's important. So, I'm thinking that's what I'm doing today. But I did want to at least come and check in with y'all. I'm about to get Lena her, um... Her breakfast and try to pick up in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, today's just gonna be a clean, cleaning day. I need to French some stuff for Lena. I need to look and see what shoes she has. So we may have to get her a pair of shoes. I don't know because she don't really have that many closed toe shoes. But I think she has like a pair of uh, riding boots, so to speak, that she can probably wear. But I'm about to put my hair back on, say some silent prayers. Um, probably going to put on my uh, righteous music, my holy music, my praise music. Lena looking at me like, girl, what you doing? I'm hungry. So let me go ahead and make her breakfast. And then I'll probably check back in with y'all in a little bit. Hey y'all, good morning. Happy Feast of Tabernacles. I feel like I didn't tell y'all that. Or I didn't tell y'all like in the right spirit. Like yesterday, whenever I checked in with y'all, I was very much trying to get out of a funk. Why am I always trying to get out of, the, out of a funk? I feel like, well, the Lord is working on all of us. But I feel like the Most High is really, really like working on me. <laughs> Because every day I'm faced with some some trials. And they're so small. They're so small. But, oh, Lord. One thing for sure is, like, nothing is never too small to give to the most high. Like, man, yesterday I was just really struggling, prepping for Feast of Tabernacles. And I was trying to get in the spirit. And it's like, I just could not. Like, as much as I was trying and I kept saying little prayers in my head and I kept just telling myself to get it together like it was really hard the devil be on my back and I'm I'm just I'm I'm over it but um today's a new day um I am headed to Walmart to see if I can find Alina like a small jacket because we are going to my brother's and we are going to be you know sleeping outside in our tents and the nights have been kind of cool not like cold but kind of cool so i just want to see if i can find her like a light jacket um or something like she has three onesies that are long sleeves so worst case scenario i can put her those on her um underneath her clothes but yeah i just want to find something that she can you know put on if it gets too chilly and then i also want to see if i can find her a shirt for her outfit she's going to wear today which is just super like, super like camping uh, attire in my opinion. It's like these little riding boots. And then this jean overall dress is super cute, but super like old fashioned kind of. Not super old fashioned, but you know, y'all know the way the little girls be dressing in today's time and age, age and time. But um, also I wanna see if I can find like her some more hair bows they don't be selling barrettes like they did back in the day um the barrettes alina have they're way too big for her little hair so i'm like i want to find some that will like actually be kind of small that way they don't look crazy on her like because her her little twist be like this big maybe even smaller and it's like a big old barrette on it it just be looking crazy to me but sometimes i don't care because sometimes i be wanting my baby to have some bows in her head but um that's really it 
I'm gonna pick up some apple juice, like some um, juice boxes for her, like the Honest Kids juice box. Um, them things nasty, by the way, but <laughs> um, it's good because they don't. It doesn't have a lot of sugar. And then my nieces, I know their mom doesn't like them having a lot of sugar, so they'll probably um, she'll probably allow them to have that. Uh, what else am I getting? I have a little list. It's not a lot of stuff, but we're going to head to Walmart. Um, hopefully <laughs> I can vlog while I'm in the store. Um, usually like when I'm out and about, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'd be on the phone with my sister. I don't know. It's just something about being on the phone with her while I'm out in public. So we'll see. Either I'm going to be talking to y'all or talking to her. But either way, um, I am taking y'all along with me. This Feast of Tabernacles, I told y'all this vlog was going to be worth it. This vlog is probably going to be one of the longest vlogs yet. At least that's that's in my head. That's that's how I'm, envision that's how I'm visualizing it. But we'll see. We'll see. Definitely going to have some fun tonight at my brother's. We're supposed to be doing a barbecue this afternoon before the Sabbath. Um, and then like a little movie night snack bar. I'm so excited. Oh, it's nothing like an intimate setting. Like, don't get me wrong. I love when it's like a lot of believers in one um, setting. It's a beautiful thing. And like, it's always a good time. But it's just something about like being with like your intimate, like your immediate family celebrating the most highest ho holidays. Like man it's, it's it's a blessing but anyway we're hey y'all better go on with your bad self <laughs> really well you need to have a class so so we can learn it don't look old Uh-huh. Kind of cracked. So I'm just trying to watch to make sure it's not burning my chicken in the back. Got you. It's a mm -hmm. mixture of water, barbecue sauce, worcestershire sauce, you know, that W sauce. That W sauce. Washer, washer, washer. Uh-huh. And whatnot. Some people put vinegar in there as well, like maybe like an apple cider vinegar. Oh, I've seen that on Barbecue Show now. <laughs> We've got to watch it since you've never seen it. you got to see it. You'll love it. Right. So we want to make sure that we're, we're keeping it moist, but we're also feeling more flavor into like the crust of it mm -hmm. as it's building. So okay. That's what we're doing. How long has it been on there already? Um, maybe 15 minutes. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to have to kind of dial this back a little bit because now that flame is starting to hit my chicken. And I don't want it to do that. Got you. Oh, so you just raise it up higher? Look on the... Oh, you turn it off, okay. <laughs> we got a nice color on it, but it still got some cooking to do. Okay, I see where you're going, what you mean. Okay. You know, uh, Amita likes that dark skin chicken though. So when that happens, what do you do? You just remove it. Okay. That's my brother. Here, duty. We gotta let the people know we here. Say happy feet the tabernacle. Happy Okay, y'all, as you can see, we have made it to my brother's. Oh, you know, over there with her grandma. I got my baby. It's my baby. And I'm so happy to be here, guys. My sister-in-law is out on the grill, really like a grill master, pit master. She done smoked some brisket. She got chicken legs out there. She done made some baked beans, potato salad, and then I'm gonna make the side salad, y'all. Yeah, because that's work right there. <laughs> the way my mama looked at me. But y'all, I'm so happy to be here. 
so excited for the festivities. Tomorrow we're having like a brunch bar with mimosas, cinnamon rolls, sausage, yogurt bar, boiled eggs. Super exciting. And then tonight we're doing like a movie night. You want to say hello to the vlog? You want to say hello to YouTube? Say hello, YouTube. Say hello, YouTube. <laughs> You're not going to say hello? No, right there. They go to camera. Say hello, YouTube. Say shalom. Show me a pretty dress. What does it say? Set apart and chosen. First Peter 2 and 9. All the way from France. No. Say thank you. Say thank you, Mimi. Y'all think y'all got some? Work hard for the money, AJ? Because she don't dance. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Get it, baby. Go, go baby. Play, go, go, go. <laughs> don't play with my baby. Yes. Get it. Go mama, go mama, go! <laughs> Make sure I've been working hard all day, so we ain't mad at it. Alina? Yeah. Look at Instagram, ain't Your son just grabbed this hamburger bun out of her hand and started eating it. He said you were taking too long. Alina, Alina. Yeah, we're gonna feed Tanine. Cricket. Oh, yeah, he going wild. That's so mean. Oh, wow, that's crazy. He just... That is so cool. So we're gonna eat all of them right now. Is this his first time eating crickets? Mm -hmm. I can tell. <laughs> Look at the knee. Did she spill it? No. Oh, okay. Why are you it down? I'll leave it. Yeah, his t tail be sticking out. Look at Tanine, Lena. Y'all look at Tanine. Mama, turn the music off so I can um uh, vlog. I don't want to get copyrighted. Oh my God, he's so cute. Because his tail sticks straight. Well, I can't see I, him, I did some studying on him and watching videos. I dive and look at like him. Like when, up on the like when okay, he's sorry. like really happy, he is very pretty. Like his color is very pretty. It's like a, like a dusty light blue. He's so handsome. <laughs> she too much. I am, because she no, said he bite. I'm talking about Alina. Don't play. Uh, Tanine's don't, don't, uh, like, I'm out of direction. Yeah. Okay, Alina. Get back, baby. That's enough. Okay. You're so dear, friends. Oh, okay, girl. Oh, Tanine. 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 Oh,
so we can talk. But I'm doing my hygiene, skincare routine so I can get my day started. Say I'm eating in the wilderness. Sound like she tried.
Play with me, grandmother. Well, I, you sh she sleep. Uh, I'm finna come see. Your favorite auntie, right? You are my favorite auntie. Uh-uh. I, I don't like that answer. I'm your favorite auntie, right? I like all my aunties to say. Right, you can like them. You can like them, but who do you love the most? All of them. <laughs> <I like you. laughs> ah. <laughs> but who's your favorite auntie? I'm gonna cry. Favorite. Uh, all of my aunties are my favorite aunties. Okay. 
Okay, fine. The hostess with the mostess. Getting ready to make some mimosas. <laughs> The guest is who's the bestest. <laughs> Babe. I said she's the hostess with the most. I said you're the guest is who's the, who's the bestest. The guest is who's the bestest. Okay, y'all. Amita is petting Sanine. Amita is petting Sanine. You like it? You like it? I don't like her. It's okay. It took me and um, Genesis a long time. But I think me and Genesis connected after she got diagnosed with cancer. Oh, y'all had something to... Oh, my oh gosh. Oh, my gosh. Don't make me cry. I don't have time. But, I girl, we went, we went to Tabernacles out on the land. Uh -huh. And, girl, I would get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Just and she would go with walk you? Walk with me to the bathroom and stand there and be like, okay, hurry up. Come on, let's go. Don't make me and cry because you know that was my and baby. Back to my tent, and she would walk me back to my tent and then go back and lay down and go back to sleep. You know I love Genesis. Stop. Um, and she would be listening the whole time. <laughs> She actually witnessed Genesis do that. I love mm -hmm. Genesis. She was so sweet. And in the end, it was like, oh, I love you, Genesis. But she was just so big and intimidating. But big oh, dogs are like, so sweet. But I was intimidated. I have to be honest. Y'all got to look love the dogs that. from your dad. Oh. 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 But is this how I'm supposed to hold it or like oh, this? Like I know. Now. That's how she gave it to me. Let me kiss your neck. Don't you run. Uh -uh. And he just sitting there like. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. I could literally look, walk look around him. He will actually probably look how long that it. tail is. Oh, yeah, you can you look get a photo? Can you stop and get a photo? I'm not having that. But he's happy because he look at his color. Heads. I love how loud How come I can't stop your camera? Black people, I told y'all we not black. It's my fault. This is why I don't play with you. You was acting black. It should be real quick. Okay. So guys, we're not the chameleon. Yay, right? How right. do you know? Why are you telling it? Are we ready? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Let oh my go. God. I got to go breathe. I forgot. I forgot we were supposed to be who said that? Nobody's the chameleon, so it doesn't matter. Come on, my hair, right? <laughs> Girl, please stop. How much you paid for this game? Because you paid for a $40 laugh. That's what you did. <laughs> you know, I mean, hey. You got, at least you got something out of it. It was she, was she for the mama. <laughs> she about to pee on herself. <laughs> no, I'm about to lose this bug. For real. Make sure you getting the bug. I think we all have. Yeah, that's Y'all gonna do this every time? Yeah. 
Possibly. Where's your card, Mom? In my lap. I think I know. Oh, really? I think I know. Like, I gotta do like as an idea. Watch when people look at their cards. Y'all give it away. Your forehead has a reflection. I said I could see it. Wow. That is really rude. Did my phone back? And then you see your daughter put her hand over my forehead? Like, you would be on yourself by now. He told me something. Your, your forehead has a reflection. That's how I know what your card is. Oh. And she's putting her hand over my forehead. Oh. I'm trying to hide the I was coming back to tell y'all that I'm going to need the pens before the night over with. Oh, my gosh. Y'all right. are killing me. Uh, yeah. yeah. from. No, that comes with age. Oh, okay. But you over there hollering, we are not the community. Like, <laughs> what? Hey, leave it. Don't touch. 